Hi, this is James Scadden, the Sydney Tech Geek, and I'm here with Stuart Bowling from Dolby again. And behind us is obviously, you know, their flagship uh, immersive audio products, Dolby Atmos. Now, it's been a great year for that because the number of cinemas going in is actually quite surprising. How many screens are you at now? So we're uh, over 1,600 screens uh, around the world, and then we created over 400 titles, uh, not just Hollywood, international titles from all around the world. Uh, and we even have, you know, Dolby Atmos mixing facility in Melbourne. Um, and you know we've had great titles go through there as well so it's been fantastic the amount of adoption the amount of titles um, and then we've done a lot of work in the background over the past four years now for Dolby Atmos at bringing down the uh, the cost of investment into this yeah and, and that's the main message today like you know we pretty much all know about Dolby Atmos but the new issue this year and why it's big big for me and big for people in, in exhibition is that they've released a new um, amplifier correct is that is where is that here so this is our new uh, digital amplifier um, when you look at Dolby Atmos because we're driving speakers individually uh, that means that we have to have an amplification channel per loudspeaker and now what we can do is uh, normally that would then mean you would have a giant rack like this which is just now filled right. with amplifiers, full of amps. Full of right. amps. That's right. Now we've been able to condense down uh, to this size, 3U, uh, you know, and here we have a 24-channel uh, amplifier with each one outputting 300 watts. And then it's specifically designed to talk to the CP850. It's an Ethernet connection. We've made it simple plug and play. But we've also added features in here that we can actually analyze in real time what is going on with the speaker outputs. And so then that way we can uh, potentially provide feedback to the exhibitor. If we see anything wrong with an output, uh, we can then tell the CP850, take that particular location out, render around it, and then, but then we can also use the 850 if it's set up that way, send a message out to the uh, exhibition tech and say, hey, this just happened at screen four in whatever city, um, and then they can get a, they can uh, log into the unit remotely and then see what's happening, and then that way that pre-arms them to be able to come out and then deal with the situation. That's exactly right. Like just visiting that that aspect for a second. Um, if you're not buying equipment now that can be completely remotely monitored and diagnosed, then you're making the wrong decision. Now, everyone who's making the proper, you know, talking about maintaining. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, cinema equipment is you need to know exactly what is wrong before you dispatch the tech and that's obviously this product can do it but the real news about this product is it's obviously it's it's high density footprint using less space but also because it's a single product like this obviously it brings down the price level the basically we are opening the, the capability of who can install Dolby Absolutely. Atmos Correct. and that's the that's the really the news of this product it's not just that it exists, but it allows more of the market to be in a position to adopt Dolby Atmos. Yes, exactly. I mean, now we're at the point where we're actually seeing uh, multiplex cinemas are proliferating more than one Atmos screen. Uh, we have examples here in the US now of all Atmos going into a, a multiplex. Um, and this really allows us to control something that we didn't have access to before, which is to bring down the cost of That's amplification. Right. And then we've also designed uh, through SLS, which is a Dolby company. Yes. Uh, you know, they've created a new overhead surround speaker for us uh, that meets the specifications and, and dispersion patterns for Dolby Atmos in the ceiling. But they've also designed it in such a way from a rigging perspective that it can easily be installed into the ceiling. And we also have a rigging system now uh, that again, reduces the cost, reduces the amount of time and labor getting people up and down into uh, putting speakers over the audience in a way that's effective, cost, and also safety. Fantastic, so really that's the big news. I'll try and actually visit their speaker company as well who was here Absolutely. and have a look at their, those new speakers. But there you go, that's the great new news for Dolby Atmos, uh, more accessible to the uh, all the cinemas around the world. So thank you very much. Absolutely, James. Pleasure Thanks, to Stuart. see you as always. And that's James Gardner at CinemaCon 2016. Bye for now.